Hello YouTube. Um, this is going to be a little bit of a feely video about something I think about a philosopher. Um, I'm quite fond of Arthur Schopenhauer. Um, look him up. You know, I'll look, link to him, uh, him in Wiki. But um, he was uh, an, an extreme pessimist. Um, and he, he was quite... If read by most people, I think that he comes off extraordinarily depressing. Um, but in my eyes, he actually gives me a lot of hope, and he's extremely inspirational. Um, now, people who know Schopenhauer might be very surprised by that, but um, it, it's just kind of, I, I have a twisted sense of inspiration, I guess. Schopenhauer, I mean, in one of his books, had an entire chapter, you know, devoted to suicide. He he um, talked ad nauseum just about, I think, very specifically, I'm trying to think of how to word it, about expectation and its effects on how we perceive things and, and how our attitudes, basically. And... and I, I mean, that gets stressed sometimes, but I, I'm surprised to see how practical a lot of his philosophy could be, even though philosophically he went off and was very silly and, and wrong at, at times. But, but in a feely way, in a way that, that I can read his things and take something from it to meditate on and, and, and that will help me applicably in life. Arthur Schopenhauer is important. Um, for instance, uh, he talked about kind of a, a pendulum of experience where, like, a, for instance, a kid cursing, you know, or, or I guess I should say even better, a parent raising their child and utterly sheltering them. Um, and he was kind of talking about how you can, you know, not do something to the point where you're repressing it or you can overdo something to the point where you're going to burn yourself out and hurt yourself. And then he talked about how that pendulum will swip, you know, swing back and forth and back and forth until you find some sort of balance. And, you know, and, the, and when I take that and I put it together with somebody like Alan Watts or really any Buddhist, any Zen Buddhism specifically, you take that pendulum and you say, well, you know, how do you calm your mind? How do you, how do you balance a situation? Well, to get the pendulum to balance, you have to let it swing itself out and you have to allow it to balance. And in the same way, you can't push your life into balance. It's, it's kind of like trying to calm a pond. You, you can't force a pond to be calm, but what you can do is allow the pond to be calm. You can allow yourself to be balanced. You can allow yourself to adapt. But if you push yourself, it, it, then it ends up being more top down. Um, now, I think somebody, yeah, somebody asked if my name had anything to do with, you know, um, Ryan Falk and um, fringe elements and whatnot. In a way, I got the idea of using emergent as a word to describe what I'm talking about right now, but that, that's kind of what it is. Zen and Buddhism and all that jazz doesn't really do it justice in the same way. Just saying, well, it's emergent because I'm not forcing it. It's, it's just happening and, and as I feel it should. So that was just a little food for thought. Um, look up Schopenhauer. I'll talk about him more and... Look up Alan Watts, I always talk about him. Thanks.